More than 300 activists have marched to the gates of BHP Billiton's Olympic Dam mine near Roxby Downs in South Australia's outback. Police have rejected organisers' claims of intimidation. They say mine workers have the right to go to work in peace. Kim Robertson filed this report a short time ago from Roxby Downs. Protesters have travelled to the remote mining town from across the country and even overseas for the demonstration. They've set up camp here near BHP Billiton's copper, gold and uranium mine, which has received state and federal backing to become the largest open cut mine in the world. Today, police escorted the protesters as they peacefully marched with placards for about two kilometres to the gates of the mine. Hundreds of police have been deployed to the town for the five day event and their actions have been described as heavy-handed by event organisers. It seems that the police are contradicting themselves. On the one hand, they're publicly stating that we have the right to protest, but on the ground here at the camp, they've done everything they can to undermine it. Police say the protesters have a right to demonstrate, but BHP Billiton workers also have a right to work in safety. They say the road closures, breath tests and ID checks are appropriate to ensure people's safety. We put those controls in place because we were concerned about the safety. Today was a perfect example why we needed that. When we did ask them to stick with one lane, they walked all over the road. So that's the real safety hazards. More protesters are expected to arrive tomorrow for workshops and discussions on the impacts of mining, as well as a second day of protest.